Hi there, and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel, where today I'm going to show you how to draw a Labradoodle. What is a Labradoodle? It's a cross between a Labrador and a Poodle, and I'm told they're like becoming, they're taking over the world, they're becoming the most popular dogs ever. Um, so let's not talk about it, let's draw it. So a Labradoodle, uh, <laughs> we're going to need a, a pencil and a pen and an eraser. And um, Labradoodles, now this is interesting because they're, they're kind of a, a cross, so they're not really a, a really fixed breed yet, are they? I don't think. Um, but what I would suggest, we'll, we'll just, it's basically kind of a shaggy poodly kind of Labrador look. So if we draw a circle and you kind of, the, that's the diameter and you cut that into about three like that. So you've got three equal distances, there to there, there to there, there to there. Then I would put your eyes kind of in the middle there and in the middle there and then the nose on the top of that bottom line there and then you can bring a kind of a curve around like this, a W isn't it, which rests on the bottom of that circle like that. Okay, uh, put some little eyebrows in there, give a bit of uh, thing and then the, the tongue it sort of curves in, is like a sort of a shapely waist really sticks out like that and you want a little bit there which will kind of be the the open mouth and that's kind of the lip right the next thing is the ears and they're kind of big floppy ears I bring them so that they kind of curve around like that but then curve out again like that uh, and on this side they'll kind of curve out I don't know what can't think of a shape of that anyway there we go, um, and then a nice straight back, um, and uh, dogs have very deep chests, and their bodies kind of come like that, so it's a kind of a, a sort of soft triangle, sort of a bean shape really, and their hips will be kind of back there. So maybe it might not be quite that deep, hang on a minute, so we'll have this coming down a bit. I think it's going to, I think I'm going to miss some legs out here. Hang on, I'm going to have his ch chest not quite so deep. There we go. Um, we're going to run out of room. So, <laughs> um, I'm just on the camera there. Yeah, I wonder if I can just, no, just pull out, a, there we go. I'll just pull out a little bit there. I hope we're still in focus. Actually, I'm just going to stop and refocus. Hang on. Right, that should do us. Okay. Um, now bring a line forward down like that and then a curve at the bottom and another curve and another curve and then that will kind of come up. They're being so hairy, they've got kind of chunky legs. They're not really chunky, but they just kind of look chunky. Now th this is its hip. Um, as the hip joint comes down here, so you've got the kind of knee joint there and that comes back. Oh, it's probably about there. That will come back. This is, this is the ankle. Okay, the long foot and then the toes down at the bottom which will be on the same line as that. So the toes will be kind of like that. So this is kind of what you have with a dog's leg. It, does, it kind of looks odd and you've got to get the <laughs> angle about right. That would be about there I think, yeah. So this is basically the kind of shape that you're getting with a dog's leg. And we'll put the other one there behind it. And we'll just make that a bit deeper. Let's bring this one coming in at that kind of angle. One, two, three, like that. Good. And then we can have its tail kind of coming away like that. Now we can draw it in. How are we doing? Oh, I can't tell anymore. Right, okay. Now this is a hairy dog, okay, so we're not going to draw a nice smooth line, we're going to draw kind of hairs. Um, go from the line and push outwards, if that makes sense, uh, from the line that you've drawn as a guide and push it outwards. And this will get us that hairy kind of labradoodle look. And and then we want to let's put the nose in now a nice shiny nose so draw that nosy kind of shape and leave a little circle in there a white to make it um, 
look shiny and the same with the eyes I should make that a little bit wider there put a little white dot in one corner I do it around about kind of one o'clock as, as it were and then just fill in the rest of it and that makes it look shiny and then you can put some little eyebrows in like that now come and work down under the nose you've got this W shape that kind of dogs have like that a few spots uh, and a nice pink tongue like that and that's its mouth open behind and that's its that mouth actually we might have a little hint of um, a, a collar hiding around there so we'll do that um, now flicking away always away and up and away from that line let's put that tail in there Okay, leave that for the moment come to the leg which is in front always do the bits that are in front first okay and then we'll come down to get that kind of furry furriness I'm not going to make it quite as deep as I originally was going to uh, I'll go one two three and then that'll be quite furry coming behind there and now uh, where was where was this? <laughs> I've done too much. There's too much pencil my drawing on there. I'm confused. There we go. Right, and that will go like that. And this one will come down two, three there like that. And we can put some ground in there like that. And then we all we have to do is the Tail, which is going to be quite floppy on the bottom underneath side of it. Right now, that's all drawn. I know that I can rub this out because these uh, rotary ticky pens, they're um, uh, what's got it? Uh, 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 pigment ink that dries really quickly. If you're not sure about your ink, make sure it's dry before you rub out the pencil because you're going to end up with a mess. Um, and you can smear all the ink everywhere. And the other nice thing about uh, rotary pigment ink is that it's waterproof, which means that you can watercolour over the top of it and it won't bleed and smear and make all sorts of a mess. So there we go. I'll put a little and a kind of lines in there. Um, maybe a bit of shading down here if you can see it. Like that. I'm going to put a bit of shading in there and a little bit of shading in there because those are kind of the back legs. They're kind of hiding around. Maybe a little bit in there. And maybe some shading underneath his ears like that. And uh, I'm going to switch off now and I'm going to colour this in. Very Well, there we go. <laughs> That's a bit fast, isn't it? Um, I sometimes like to just finish off and you can put some extra kind of marks and things in like that with some crayon over watercolour. I think in the business it's called mixed media. I just call, I just call it drawing. <laughs> and uh, It's funny how watercolour is generally thought of as being drawing and um, oil paint and acrylics and things is thought of as painting but watercolour is quite often thought of as being kind of part of drawing I certainly think of it as drawing anyway I'm rambling uh, I'll put a little bit like, like that there and put a bit more around there and then a bit more around there I'm going to carry on doodling with this a bit anyway. If you've enjoyed this, <laughs> keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube. And uh, go to my own website, www.shoerainer.co.uk. And my video site is www. Hang on. <laughs> I'm getting this all wrong. <laughs> Shoerainer.com is my website. Uh, and go to shoe-tube.com where you can see all these videos in schools and libraries and uh and if you've enjoyed this uh, keep coming back
keep drawing, keep practicing. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.